Hey folks, this is Vince and Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Forbidden Sky. This game supports two to five players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is about 60 minutes. So this is the third game in the Forbidden series, I guess you could call it. There was Forbidden Island, and then there was Forbidden Desert, and now there's Forbidden Sky. And they all play in much the same way, in the sense that players take action, something bad happens. Then the next player takes action, something bad happens, and so on and so on and so on. Here, you're on this platform in the sky, and you're trying to basically find all of the components that you need in order to launch your rocket ship. You're going to be trying to find this huge launch pad toward the top there. There's some other components like small circles and medium-sized circles and these lightning rods. You're going to be completing them in a series circuit and be connecting them via these orange wires over here. And if you manage to do that, if you connect the last wire while standing on the launch pad and the circuit is complete, then you win the game. Now, obviously, it's not as simple as that. So, on a player's turn, they can take four actions. Um, here's a quick look at the guide card here. Um, you can move, uh, meaning you can move one adjacent square. This, this starter area here is four tiles. This one, this one, this one, and this one. This is our starter tile. This is just the wind's direction. Um, it shows in what direction the wind is currently blowing, in which case it's to the south right now. Um, these gray sections are platforms. We cannot walk on the purple. Uh, the purple represents clouds. So if we take a look at this real quick. Uh, the purple is clouds. We cannot walk on that. The, bra the black area here is platform. That's the path that our characters will be going on. Now, we're also going to be connecting, like I said, these uh, lightning rods and some other pieces to our network. And we're going to be standing on these wires or what have you. And when the bad deck is drawn, when, when cards are drawn from that bad deck, there's a chance that we might be electrified. If we're in connection with one of those electric rods, um, the winds may blow, causing our people to blow in a particular direction. The winds could change direction and different things like that. So we can move as one of our actions. We can scout. We can, uh, whenever we scout, we just simply draw um, one of the, just draw a new tile and put it into our hand. We start the game with one tile. We can hold up to three. We can explore by placing a tile that you have, and it has to be adjacent to where your pawn is currently sitting. And whenever you make that connection, there has to be a, at least one wire connection uh, being made. And then lastly, as another action, you can uh, add or remove a wire from a component onto your tile. Again, those components are like, there's the wires over here. We're going to be connecting these wires to lightning rods and other, other the launch pad and other things. Um, each component can only hold a total of two wires. So you can't have like one central thing branching off in eight different directions. But again, it has to be a series circuit. Series circuit, just think of it like a long circle. It has to, it has to complete one long series circuit. Okay, And that was an oversimplification of how this game is played. Um, each player also starts with a specific character. Um, I am the climber. When I move, I can take another pawn with you, or with me. Uh, you may jump over clouds between adjacent tiles, even when blown by wind. Okay, so whenever you're blown in this game, um, or my character can jump, but it, let's say I didn't have that ability. It, let's say the wind was blowing in this direction, and the winds blew. We would be sort of knocked off here, which is bad. Uh, we'd lose a rope on our tracker here. There's two, there's two trackers, health and rope. If any one of us gets down to the skulls at the end here, like if I lose all my health or if Idalee loses all of her rope, whatever, we all lose the game. So we have to keep our health and our rope from going to zero. Uh, being blown off the grid or into the clouds, that's one... A uh, way to lose rope. Uh, being electrified is a way to lose health. Okay, but yeah, my ability is I can jump over clouds even when blown, which is kind of nice. Ida Lee's is the knot smith, and that allows her repair a rope on your tile or an adjacent tile, one point of wear per action. So she can spend an action to repair rope to to give herself more rope basically. And there's other, um, and other characters too that happen to be there. There's other cards that are available. Um, here's a quick look at the box insert. 
used to some of the components that we're not using. Uh, there's a navigator, for example. There's a medic. Uh, there's also different levels of difficulty. There's the elite there. Um, we're using the novice. All we need is a launch pad, uh, f three small components, one medium-sized component, and three of those electric... Uh, uh, Electric or electricity rods there. On the Elite, you need a lot more than that. So it depends on what kind of difficulty you want. I prefer easy, so we'll play it on easy. This is our first game. By the way, we have not have never played this before. There's also this tracker here. Um, it starts off on the, on the appropriate slot, and this number represents how many cards are drawn from the bad deck whenever a player takes all of their actions for their turn. So right now we start the game at only drawing one bad card at the end of every player's turn. But eventually, that deck there is going to say, okay, you need to increase this. So over the course of the game, we're going to be drawing more and more and more cards. If, it, if it, the tracker ever gets up here, we automatically lose. There's also a deck of gear cards. Um, whenever we place a tile that has a gear icon on it, we get to take one of those cards, and it's like a special ability or special item that we can use. Uh, there are other symbols that are on these tiles, like there's a teleporter there um, on the starter tile that allows you to sort of teleport to uh, different tiles uh, that have those teleport symbols on them. There's Faraday cages and wind protection areas, stuff like that. We'll get to them as we draw them from the deck. Alright, I think we're ready. I did skip over maybe one or two rules, but um, we'll, again, we'll address them as they come up. So, uh, would you like to go first? Sure. All right, so again, you've got four actions there. Now, we're using a reverse side of one of these roll cards just to keep track. Like, each, each, each card is one side is the tracker, the other side is the order of play. Uh, we're just, just to make it easy, we're just using that. And she's white instead of blue, just, just because black and blue tend to blend in together. Mm -hmm. So um, she's just using the white pawn instead of the blue pawn to help uh, differentiate between the two pawns. All right, so go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Um... could just draw. I could just draw up to three, right? You could. You can draw, yeah, you can take as many actions as you want, like up to four. You can do move twice and take twice. You can, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, this one, the red is the bigger one. Yes, uh, that's one thing I didn't go over. Um, in order to reveal those components uh, and put them onto the play area, you have to form circles. Um, with these tiles. Uh, these yellow ones, these small yellow ones, will form whenever those half circles are completed uh, and they form a complete circle, that will reveal a small component. Uh, this red will reveal the launch pad and then there's green circles in the deck of tiles that will reveal the medium sized component circles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, a, that's for the launch pad. Maybe I'll just wait for a second. Um, I do want a couple of these. All right, I'm just gonna. Zo I don't think you guys need to see that, so I'm just gonna zoom in there. Okay. It's nerve wracking though because some of these could be storm direction. No, no, that's. Oh, no, that's for gear. That's no, that's that's the bad deck. All all of these are just tiles for this. That's it. There is no bad draw there. All right, so you drew this. So whenever you place this, a capacitor is going to be placed. It goes well with your. Uh, a lightning rod, I should say, not capacitor. The lightning rod. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could, you could, that's one action, and you can place that here for a second action if you wanted to, but the, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You've got one-fourth of a green circle here. If you put it like this, yeah. that we won't be able to form it. I could pass it to you at any time, right? Or, yeah, or you can do this, and in the future, we'll complete the circle here. You know what I mean? Like, you can rotate this any which way you want to. I see. So you, you, it's up to you. If you want to keep drawing, you can do that. This is a cooperative game, so, you know, we're allowed to work together and figure this stuff out. You can only have up to three car three tiles? Three tiles, yes. Okay, well, Once you have three, you can't draw anymore. This will be my second. That's your second action. Now, is there, is there something that makes it so that you're forced to draw anything? No. No. no? Mm -mm. Okay, then. That's a teleporter? That's a teleport, wow. yep. Mm -hmm. And there's two green... So stuff. I could potentially just, like, pass all this to you and keep drawing? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you, I'll do the drawing. You can do the place thing. What do you mean pass, though? That's that's the, what it says. You may also pass a quick. That's not the character you are. Oh, oh, it's, it, the, it's it's for all the characters. Oh, okay, so, yeah, if you so, want to. Oh, wait, oh, equipment cards, not tiles. Right, oh. yeah, it has to be equipment. Oh, what's an equipment card? That's the this. gear cards that we're going to be picking up. Oh, so don't worry about passing anything. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. But okay. you can't you can't place these. You can't do that until your character is actually here. Oh, really? And I would not end your turn here or well. Um, I'm thinking. Is that a bad idea? Because if you get electrified, this still connects. This is this is this is a connection here. Yeah. If you character end your turn here, mm -hmm. um, then and if lightning were to strike, mm -hmm. anything connected to that lightning rod will get a zap. I see. Now you're not. You you can't place that there. I'm just saying. Why? Because your pawn isn't here. You have to be completely adjacent to that tile. Oh, I have to... There's oh, four, there's right, four, right, there's right. four tiles here. There's one, two, three. Okay. So we really can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, no. It has to, you have to make at least one wire connection yeah, when okay. you're placing. So one, two, those two actions. This will be my third. Yeah. Now, again, you may take a zap there. Unless you... I'm going to, I may, either way, because I can't... What if you... Okay, so... I can't build anything adjacent to it because I don't have the circle. So my only other choice is to do that. So that's my four actions. Yeah, but do you want to end your turn here and take the risk of getting zapped? I have to. You don't have to. You could stay there. Um, what other actions do you have? That's it. Scout, explore, wire, move. Ta it says take up the four actions. So if you don't want to take those two actions, you don't have to. I'll yellow it. I don't mind. All right. Because um, I eventually do want to build. All right. Uh, I just hope that we're, you don't die that quickly. <laughs> how else am I going to build? You know? Watch and learn from the Met and I'm kidding. Okay, I will watch. Alright, so right. your turn is over, right? Yes. So we're gonna draw one card from the bad okay. deck. Alright. High winds. So well, <laughs> here's the bad thing. The wind, because this is a high winds and the pointer is pointing in this direction. <laughs> so you lose a rope. Oh, that's okay. You lose a rope. I get pushed here. Yeah. That's funny. At least I can repair things. <laughs> yeah, at least you, but you're a knot smith, so you could. Yeah. yeah, so what I did there off camera was I just drew from the, the bad deck, and there's a discard pile directly above it. There is a card in this deck that will tell us to shuffle all of these cards and put them back into the, you know, mm. put them all back into the deck again. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, now it's my turn. I'm going to take my four actions. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw one. Okay. Now, is, is there a limit, like a tile limit or anything like that? What do you mean a tile limit? Like, is it only like a 10 by 10 tile limit? No, no, okay. there's no, nothing, there's no parameters. Okay. Um, That's the word. <laughs> two. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, nice. And then. Four? Four. That's good, that way you don't get scared. Now, I placed a gear. So I get to take a free gear, I take a, a card. This is the jetpack. Uh, move to any tile on the platform. You may take one other pawn on your tile with you. Okay, so I'm going to keep that until I need it. Alright, so that was my four actions. Now whenever you complete a circle, like I said, you automatically get to place this here. That's mood for you because you're already the climber. You can already take somebody with you. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so now we have to draw from the bad deck, mm -hmm. lightning strikes. Wow. So that means anyone connected to the lightning rod will take a damage. <laughs> I am not connected. How do you heal? Well, if if either of us were the medic, we could heal. Ah! If not, there's there's cards. I think there's a like a med kit or something in the in the gear deck that lets us do that. So now you get to take um, four actions. actions. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll do something like. You need to get off of that. Um. <laughs> now here's the thing: by connecting it like that, we are now all. Co this has me now connected yeah. to this network. I know. <laughs> Funny. No matter how you do it, I am now connected <laughs> to the network. Okay, so what if I do it on the other side? Fine. You can, yeah, you can do it on the other side if you want. Mm, I would do it maybe flip, flip around maybe. Like uh, this? No, no, because there's a great. Oh, you know what I could do? You could do. I could do. I could do this instead. I could go one here, right? And then 
this one there? No, you'd have to go move there first. Oh, okay. What I would do though is I would make sure you end your turn outside of that. You do not want to end your turn on this again. You're going to keep taking zaps until you're dead. Yeah. So you need to get your character off of this network. I know. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so that would be... One. No, no, no. One. Oh, yeah. One. Two. No, no. This was one. This would be two. Correct. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this would be three. You're oh, still shoot, you're I'm still st connected. I'm still connected. That's okay. I doubt we're going to have lightning strike again. There's six cards in that deck. Oh, there's only six? There's six cards. There's six lightning strike cards oh. in that deck. So one was already drawn. It's up to you if you want to YOLO it, but... Uh. I would say put one down, then retreat or something. I don't know. Hold on. One. Okay. That's one. One. No. no. Oh no, that was one. This is one. If you go two, two three, and then. Right. No, well, you, if I may make a suggestion, well, well, no, I guess, never mind. You, I was thinking put something here, but not a good idea because you need red. So you could put one down like you did. Yeah, um, and then two, three, and then I'll draw one. Two, okay, four. sounds good. If lightning strikes, then... Well, there's our three electric stuff. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so now we have to draw the bad, the bad card. card. See what it is. Uh, storm intensifies, so mm -hmm. this simply means that this goes up so. to two. Oh, so now we draw two of those. Nope, not yet. Are it's we? not on the two yet. Oh, I see, I see. It's still on the one. Oh, I probably should have repaired it. Oh, well. No, I'm good. Did you still have a spare action? No. No? no. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Um, all right, so now I get to take four actions. Mm -hmm. um, I will do... This is a protection from the wind. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to put that. Let me see. That was a protection? This little blue symbol is, oh. it's a storm, it's a wind protection. So I may want to start getting that down. You know what I should have done? I could have put this down and used the teleporter. Maybe. I didn't even think about that. That's alright. Um, that's not a good idea because this is, that's not going to. That'll block. That'll block that circle. Um... I'll do... You could draw one. Is there any way to get rid of tiles? No, not without placing them. Wow. If I put this here, one, I get to draw one. Um... Unless we go up. Like if I, if I go up in this direction, mm -hmm. just because I don't want to be connected to those lightning rods yet. So mm -hmm. we can do one. This wire connects here, so that's still uh, a legal play. Yeah. Um, so that's one. And I get a gear card for that. But here's the thing. If it's not, if the electricity is not connected. What about it? If the electricity is not connected, how are you going to connect this launch pad? We'll get there. Okay. We're, we can still connect it here. For right now, it's not connected. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to prolong, you know. I, yeah, well, yeah, I'm trying to... St I don't want to put all these lightning rods down first and then not have anywhere safe to go in between turns. You know okay. what I mean? But that's just that's just my way of looking at it. Okay. Uh, so that's one. Um, I could go two. Mm -hmm. And I could do three. And that's a wind protection thing. So if we end up there, we're safe from the winds pushing. And I can take one more action. Um, the med kit that I just picked up lets me add up to four total health to characters on your tile. Um, so if we are in the same space, we can share those four points. Oh, wow. So, yeah, this will this will be nice. If we ever get in trouble, we, we team up and I'll, we'll use the med kit. Okay. And for my last action, I'll just draw a tile, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this would actually be good here. Mm. Okay, like and now we draw one from the deck. Mm -hmm. Lightning strikes. Uh, bzzit. No one's touching any of these wires, so we're safe. Mm -hmm. So no, nothing, nothing bad. Oh, I should have been in the medic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my turn. Uh huh. Um, what if I do something like this? Uh, but now, then that'll that will now that'll electrify. 
I mean, we can, but that will electrify my space. Well, now. I wouldn't be able to do it because it's not adjacent to me. Right? Correct. So you, I have, you have to, to move. You this. have to move anyway. Yeah. All right. So one. <laughs> wait, wait. For what reason? Oh. So I can build. Oh, I see. So down here, one. One. Because I can't build anything, right? Right. And then if you move over here. Two. Right. And now, can you build anything here without connecting these tiles together? If not, then like that? the downside is that if the wind blew you in this direction, you'd fall into the clouds. Yeah. That's the only downside. Mm. And then these two are gonna... <laughs> yeah. Terrible card choice. Um. I mean, if you have to, you have to. We'll just have to take the hits. The, I do have that, that med. I have that med kit. Oh. Oh, actually, that was one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I could do. Four? Yeah, that'll work. Four. Now we've got uh, three fourths of a circle there. Cool. Okay. So uh, that ends your turn. We're going to draw one bad card. A high winds. So we both get pushed in this direction. So we are now here. Was that over a cloud? Or no, way? because there's the a platform path. connecting these two. There's a black platform connecting those two spaces. I see. Um, so we are now there. So now I'm going to take my turn, my four actions. Um, do we get a gear every time we land on it, or every time only we when we place it? Only when we place it. All right, I'm going to. I need to move up so that the wind. If the wind blows again, mm -hmm. I don't want to get blown off the thing. Um, but I also kind of want to put this down, just to have this new circuit. But. Um, I could do one place, that's two, then move back for three, then you up You have a teleporter here as well. Yeah, I guess I could teleport over there. Yeah, I guess that's smart. Alright, so I'll do this. I'll move uh, one, mm -hmm. place for two. Mm -hmm. uh, that automatically creates one of these. Use the teleporter, three, mm -hmm. and I will uh, draw a tile from the thing. Alright, so I've got a, a circle, a red, and a... I need to get down here then and start forming that, uh, since I have this. Oh, I didn't know... S okay, I didn't know it could go inwards. Like, that is crazy. That's a crazy tile. <laughs> what? I didn't know there was a green that could go on a red. Yeah, well, it's just, you can use it as either or. It's like oh, a wild tile kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay, so... Now you have to pick the yes. card. Alright, high winds. So, unfortunately, you lose a rope. I'm sorry. I blow here. How many rope do you have left? One. Seriously? Yeah. Are you down to one, or you have two left? Oh, two. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I have one, one good one left, right? You have two left. Because when the wind blows, you're going to move down to here. Oh, I see. And when wind blows, yeah, so you still have okay. two... two for I your action, how many rope do you get back whenever you... Is it one rope Just per one action? Per, yeah, one per okay, action. Okay, you may have to start using that uh, at some it's, point. I mean, you don't get hit... Oh, actually, no, because it'll be every other turn. Yeah, I have to repair now. Okay. Because you may get hit on my turn. Yeah, okay, so I will repair now for so, one action. So one action, it's one, it's one rope. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to... Are you going to move here at some point? I don't know. Um, well, even if you do, I'm full on rope, so it doesn't matter. I was yeah. thinking you wait until we combine so that I can get, get it as well. I think, is it one rope per person on your tile, or is it just for whoever? This is repair a rope on your tile or an adjacent tile. It doesn't count as a platform. No, that's not a platform. That's not a platform. I see. Um, and one more. Two, oh, two more. Lightning strikes. You get zapped for one. <laughs> Lightning strikes again. I have one. You have one health left. All right, I need to come over there and heal you. <laughs> Can you heal on an adjacent tile, or does it has to be on your tile? Um, has to be on your tile. Okay. But okay. it's your turn now, right? Oh yes. So you need to make sure that you end your turn outside of electricity, otherwise you're gonna die. Like, I know. I move here. Um, so maybe place one. Mm -hmm. And, well, you could remove, what you could do is you can place one, move, three, and then, 
I was going to say disconnect the wire, but no matter which wire you disconnect, you're still going to be touching that circuit. This is this is all live here, I think. No. Is it? No, because this is not technically touching anything. If you were to dis okay, if you put a tile down here for one, moved here for two, moved here for three, then you what disconnected this, right? I still get zapped though because of this electric wire. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't see that under there. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the camera died on us there, so we had to cut midway. Um, this is our final turn. I think we've managed to beat this thing, even though we kind of cheated. Um, <laughs> so what we have going on here, we've got a uh, circuit doing all the way around here. And because I'm the climber, I can carry both of us when we move. So I'm going to go one, two, and then make this final connection here. So I just need a small thing. Mm -hmm. And you could have made it from there as well, right? Because of the big circle connecting with all those four tiles. Say what now? You could have just moved that one time, right? Yeah, I, I guess I could have, as long as they were touching. And I think what you... I'm just making sure everything's connected. Everything's yeah. fitting. Everything looks good. And we completed this part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we have the launch pad, mm -hmm. we've got the circle, the medium circle there, we've got the three small circles there, we've got the three... Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, again, it was a half and half victory because, again, in the very beginning, I mistook this tracker. I thought it was, the number is where it started, so this is, you draw one up to here, or ones and then two you start drawing twos then you start drawing threes and you start drawing fours i just thought that was what happened but no you, you look at the colors instead so we were drawing less cards than what we should have in the very beginning of the game and and idly commented to be honest we probably would not have <laughs> beaten the game just because this game is difficult yeah. but that was part of our that was we made a lot of rookie mistakes too this here killed us because we were taking tons of damage trying to get everything connected over here uh like we did it in the wrong order we i i think had this been maybe here and here like surrounding the launch pad that might have been better something I think like that if we also had like spots that did like just like once in a while had spots that didn't connect to anything and mm -hmm. use that as a safe base for like our final two turns or one turn or whatever i think right. that would have been better that's cool i like the model Really did. So what do you think of this? Did you like good. it? Yeah, it was good. Did you play it again? Um. Yes, no? Yeah, I would, I think. You would? Yeah, I would. Okay. You wouldn't? I would. I, I like cooperative games to begin with. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this... I liked it. I mean, Forbidden Island, I still think, is an easier experience than this one. I've never played that one. Well, yeah, we'll have to get that one going, too. Um, Forbidden Island is definitely easier in my opinion. Uh, this one's a bit more complicated, what with all this different connecting that you have to do. It is a little complicated. It's challenging. I would definitely try this again with a different approach, with the, the base, like having a couple tiles, um, like drawing extra tiles so that we can have spots that we can be safe in. And I probably would have done a, a harder one. Really? A harder I one? Just, just to see, like just to form that type of strategy. There's no way. <laughs> People are crazy. You and your people in your hard modes. I can't. No, I can't do it. it's not. I don't know. It's just how I would learn and practice. Okay. You know? Well, you do. This is. You can play this solo if you want. <laughs> really. Uh huh. Cool. Just pick two characters and have at it. I'm sure there's a solo variant or two. I um, love. I wish that I was the medic. As I like the rope repair, but man, I think that medic would have been like so much more. Well, the climber is what saved us in the end. We yeah. we both had one or two health left. Yeah. And there were we were drawing four cards at that point. So if I were to come down here, mm -hmm. I'd have to wait for you yeah, to come down true. here and then zap zap dead. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I'm so technically true. I'm connected to the network from this side here. Oh yeah, that, that is so. True. So the climber is what saved us. Wonder, what was the oh, next yeah. set of yeah lightning strikes? Start, that would have stopped there. Wind change. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. But I like this. I mean, it's it's definitely a cool cooperative experience. It's it's a neat idea. I, I like the idea of the the whole network of, of wires and yeah. uh, you have to be careful of where... It's very strategic on where you... Where actions you take when. Like, you can play it safe 
and put tiles down and just move to them and stay there mm -hmm. at the end of every turn so that you're not getting zapped or the winds don't affect you as much. Mm -hmm. But the, the longer you stall and play it safe, oh, that's right. the more that track goes up. So it's like at some point you're gonna have to take risks and do stuff. Yeah, I, didn't, I totally forgot about that. You know and I mean? there's only a limited amount of turns too. Yeah, once you get to the top there, you're dead. Wow. Of that track. The yeah. world explodes and your rocky ship will not I guess. I don't know what happens, but yeah. So yeah, um, that was uh, Forbidden Sky. Um, I got it for 13 bucks on Amazon wow. somehow. Very cheap. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to find it for the same price or not, but I recommend it. It's, it's a nice um, semi-casual cooperative <laughs> game. I, if, you're, if you've got little kids, I'd still recommend Forbidden Island uh, as a starter because it's a little bit more easier to get into. Um, but hey, if you're ready to take it to the next level and you've already played Forbidden Desert, then why not? Mm -hmm. Give this a try. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.